Michael, Luke, many congratulations. Thank you. World Cup champion. <coughs> Just start how you feeling because it seemed quite emotional up there. Yeah, I kind of lost my voice a little bit to be honest. I think. Um, the emotions they gave you, I think that's the most I've ever celebrated and been up for, for darts in, in a long, long time. Um, you know, I was, we, we were not just, I'm not talking for myself, I was Mike as well, but I was really up for it. You know, I really wanted to win. It was something that you really want to tick off, something on the ambition that being World Cup champions, obviously no, no team's done it in eight years, so obviously it's a tough thing to do. Um, you know, we did it at the Cantna, we played it fantastically well. You know, a lot, lot of other teams weren't worried about us, said that we wouldn't gel, but uh, unfortunately we did. And I think that we proved that. Um, you know, we concentrated on our own game. We didn't listen to what anyone else said. We didn't let it affect us. We knew we, we could play as well as we did. And, and you know, we, we played fantastic throughout the tournament. The only, the only game we were sort of iffy was the first game, but we worked ourselves into it. And, uh, you know, the last three games today were, were fantastic. So you, didn't... <laughs> 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 you said you didn't let it affect you, but there was a lot of noise before the tournament and then teams... Even here, said, oh, they won't gel, they want me to do it. Is that, does that make it even, even sweeter? Yeah, even better. And then before the semi-final, uh, when was it? We won the quarters and Peter Wright walked past asking Luke how his shoulders was. The guy just had his 78. <laughs> and I was like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> and then he had an argument, well, not an argument, he was trying to give me a bit of banter behind the stage, but Peter, you're not, you're not good enough, mate. <laughs> and it, it, it's just the same as everything else. And that guy should have some strong shoulders because he's been holding the Premier League up for two years. So, <laughs> no, he annoyed me today, and I think that kind of spread me on in that semi final. I've never given it that large ever. Phil's I'm... rubbing his hands here. That's, my, <laughs> that's my headline sorted. No, 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 I, I needed to get that out because it really annoyed me. But then I think you see him with that 70 check out. I've never ever celebrated that much for a double eight winning. Even when I won the Worlds, Grand Slam, I fell, fell on the floor. I'd never give it that large in my life. And yeah, now I'm sat here. I've got a gold medal final. I've been in every single round in the World Cup. and Thanks to this man, yeah, I've now got another. It was a team performance. Now I've got another major title to win it. You're both both multiple major winners. You've both won the world championship. But does this feel special, different, all at the same time because it's representing England? I think it's weird, isn't it? Because like he said before in the last interview, he's never celebrated so much someone else hitting a double. And every time he won, I, I shut my eyes away. He's going to hit it, but please hit it. Type thing, and it, it was one of them. I've never, I've not felt like for a long, long while since. Well, January of 23, I'm not for a laugh, as the way I'm feeling now, and it's hard because I'm just chatting gibberish now on here. It, it's hard to get the right words out to say, and probably you can yeah. fill in a lot better. No, it's just, it's one of them feelings, I think, that sometimes in darts you lose that enjoyment. You know, he will know as world champion this year, it's all been a blur, it's been tiring, it's been, you know, sometimes you're turning up, even when I'm playing well, I'm turning up weeks and... You know, I'm winning and it's still just, you know, not registering how well I'm playing. I'm just in this zone of I'm playing all the time. It, it all becomes a blur and sometimes you lose the enjoyment for the game. And these sort of moments, these sort of weekends, they bring you back up. They make you feel great again. Um, and he'll feel the same. You know, I think that, you know, it's not, it's, it's not been the way you've won the last 18 months, but this will bring him back up again. I think he showed his true champion this weekend. I think, I think he played fantastic. Uh, we both played well, but he played fantastic. And it will give him confidence in the world match play and, and stuff like that. But I hope it's... Doesn't really play that well against me. <laughs> <laughs> we might become enemies then, but no, it's, uh, it's, it, it gives you that little extra feeling of greatness again. It makes you enjoy the game, and uh, you know, it's, it's been a long time since I, I've won something. I think the last time I won was um, either the Worlds or a European Tour. So, you know, this feeling obviously is great, and we're going to go into the match play obviously feeling good. And, you know, our performances were great throughout the whole tournament, so we'll go into that obviously now feeling good. You touched on the narrative about no England team had won it for eight years, and now you join. Phil, Adrian, as winning England team. Is that a nice feeling? Yeah, of course. We said it on stage, it's no longer just Phil and Ada. We had four stars in our back now playing, and it was only two men to ever get it. Now to have our picture with that. Phil, Ada, I think Smith, no, it's, it feels amazing to have it. I think they'd be proud as well. You know, obviously, they've, they've been the stepping stone for England darts for a long, long time. There's been a lot of English players come through over the last eight, nine years, but I think now Phil and Adia would probably have watched that and been proud to see England finally regained it and you know, you've got two world champions that have done that. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you very much. Luke, Thank you, Michael, your loved ones know how difficult it is in the audience every week to watch you throw. To say it's the hardest part in darts, but now you guys know how difficult it is to watch someone throw for, for yourself. I, I didn't, I, it wasn't difficult for me. I felt every time he walked up to the hockey, I felt like he was going to hit a big score and he pretty much did every time. And every time I was probably sat on a finish, he probably thought it was going to go and it did. So, you know, we, there's many, many major tournaments you play in that you usually have that round where it gets a little bit tricky and 
you put yourself under pressure but you know I felt like we, we won that at pretty much a good counter to be honest I think no one really people played well against us we didn't let anybody come really close to us you know the closest anybody come was probably the final being 9-6 that was my fault sorry yeah and that was his fault <laughs> no, <laughs> but I you know that's yeah. really annoyed about. but we you know we, we we didn't allow ourselves to be under pressure a lot um, our scoring was brilliant you know we complement each other really well and this is how we felt before the tournament there's no guarantees there's nothing to say that you're going to turn up and uh, it's all going to go the way you think it, it will but you know it did for us and uh, you know really happy to, to bring the trophy back home to England I mean, just on that point now, are you surprised about how comfortably you've won this tournament? Because like you said, nobody's really ever come close to you. It was only in that final, at 10-6, still quite a margin, where that was the closest that anybody got. Yeah, and we didn't, the, the worst thing is we didn't play like we can. Uh, if, if we would have played the way we could, and I said it on the last one, we just, we wouldn't have lost that many legs, finals, semis, quarters and whatever. We, and then they just keep saying it, we just complimented each other so well. When I missed, he checked out. When he, well, it was very verbal. When he did miss, <laughs> if I want to find him, I was checking out as well. And yeah, and I keep saying as well, I just want to thank him so much. He's the best partner I could have asked for. And now we get to take the title home. Oh, come here. <laughs> it's the first time that we've seen this pair in the World Cup. What's the question to both of you? What's the one thing, the best thing about pairing with the other? Just, just with. Both good. Yeah. <laughs> when you, I think the, the complementary. You know, we're both similar players, both same rhythm. Um, we both got that same sort of style. And I think when Michael was first on the scene, and then when I come on the scene, a lot of people sort of touted me as the next Michael Smith because he was the up and coming player, and then won the worlds, and then it was you know my turn to step up and do that. But we were touted as the same sort of talent, you know. Um, and it was just great to play with them, to be honest. It really was. I'm really, really pleased, and uh, hopefully that we get the chance to try and retain it next year as well. Luke, Michael, huge well done. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you thank so you. much.